everybody. This is Diane with Crafting with Fury. Hope each and every one of you are safe and healthy no matter where you are. I am coming here with my second project share for Queen A Craft and I will leave um, their link down below and don't forget to use my code which is Diane and you can save 10% off of your next order. I'd really appreciate it. So let me show you. I've been a busy little bee today or this weekend. So let me show you what I created. Um, let me move everything out of the way and we'll, we'll kind of do one thing at a time. Move that out of the way. We'll start with this one. This is the, I wanna make sure that I, Call it the correct thing. It's the Halloween Square Spider Web Dies. And it comes with two dies. It comes with this spider web here. And it comes with the word spooky. And this is a good size die. It's like almost, what, three and five eighths by almost four and three quarters. And then the spooky is a um, little over two and a half. So I love this die. And what I decided to do with it is I decided to make the shaker. And I haven't really decided on if I'm gonna put it on a card, if I'm gonna make a tag out of it, but I love the way it turned out. Look how cute that is, guys. Look how cute, I love it, love it, love it. I'm not real good at shakers, but we're trying, we're trying. I love it, love it, love it. So this is the Halloween Square Spider Web Die. Look how cute that writing is. Love it. So there's my first thing I created. And this right here, these are the combined snowflake dies. And they are beautiful. Look how pretty they are. They range anywhere from like a little over an inch to almost an inch and seven eighths. So those are some pretty dies. So there is those, you get one, two, three, four, five. And what I decided to do with that is make a little circle tag. I think he turned out really cute. All I did was cut out a circle. I used those snowflake dies and I um, layered them up. And then I had a sticker and then I put some bling in the sky. So I thought it turned out super cute. So these are the snowflake, combined snowflake dies. There's that. And then the next thing I created was with these layered pumpkins. They're called Halloween pumpkin dies. And you get three dies with them. You get the shadow piece and then you get the decorative pieces here and here. So you get three dies on that, and they are uh, two and three-eighths by around two inches a piece. So that's, that's a pretty good size. And what I decided to do was create a memory decks card. And so I put the pumpkins here, and I layered the black and the orange. I love that. And then let me show you the decorative ones. And here is what the decorative ones look like. Aren't those beautiful? I love those. So this is the Halloween pumpkin dies. That's what I did with those. And these are the, let me make sure I say right. These are the layered flower dies. And I wasn't really for sure what I wanted to do with these yet, so I just cut them out. And guys, you get one, two, three, four, five dies. And the largest one here is two and three eighths and two and a quarter. And I bet that one's two and a quarter by two and a half. So those are some good size flower dies. And look how pretty those are. I didn't use, uh, those look like little starfishes to me, but these are the ones that I used that I layered up. 
I think those are so pretty and look at that glitter. Love it, love it, love it. So these are the layered flower dies. So we got those and put those over here. And this right here is the gift boxes dies. And it's one piece, but it looks like you've got three different gifts. And it goes, it's four inches by almost three and a half. So that's a good size die. Love it, love it, love it. And what I did was, and I used these handmade wooden button pieces too, and I created a little box. And what I did was, was I cut the die out of this green paper, and then I glued it to a gold and fussy cut around it. And I just love the way that turned out. And then here is, let me see if I can get it. It says handmade, and I just created a little box. And I thought, hmm, what would be a gift? And I went, yeah, my Reese dark chocolate thins. If you've never had them, guys, you have to try them. They are delicious. So I thought that would be just a cute little gift, just put in a stocking. So that is these, um, now these little wooden pieces that says handmade, these are, I think there's three different, three different, hold on just a second guys. Hold on, I'm sorry, my battery's going dead. Sorry about that. So here it says handmade, handmade, and then there's this one here, handmade. So you get all of these, and I just wanted to put that on the corner of the box. Love it, love it, love it. So there is the gift boxes. Now, guys, when I seen this, I knew exactly what I was gonna do. I knew exactly. So this die right here is the Halloween clown die. And it, it is almost five inches tall. And he is one and three quarter inches wide. And he actually comes with this little girl here, like he's a balloon. But what I did was, is I cut her off. And these here, love these, love them, love them. These are called the Halloween label dies and you get one that says Nightmare Before Christmas and Happy Halloween. And so I used the Nightmare Before Christmas and just made a card. Isn't it cute? I love that. I'm loving the black and orange. Isn't that adorable? So these are the Halloween labels and the Halloween clown die. And I've got one more, I think, to show you. And this is the holiday greeting dies. And you get, let's see here, you get a Merry Christmas and you get a Happy New Year. Now, the Merry Christmas goes almost four and a quarter by one and a half, and your Happy New Year is two and five eighths by two and a half. So that's a good size. And then I use this big old die right here, and this is called the Butterfly Cover Folding Card Die. And I actually got some glossy accents on that. I'm gonna clean that off. And wide it's seven and a half and then it's four and so what i did was i made a card and come on focus for me and then when you open the wings i use the happy new year and i just made a card so i love the way these turned out so cute so thank you queen a craft for all these awesome 
awesome, awesome dies and goodies to play with. And I will leave the link to everything down below. Thank you all for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.